Hey, what's up guys? This is Alethea. I haven't come in in a while with a get ready with me, so I decided to share one with you all. For this get ready with me, I'm going to kind of talk. I normally don't, but I just need to point out a few things. First of all, my lighting. I'm still trying to figure out my lighting, so at some parts it may look like my makeup is too light, but you'll see in the pictures that it's not. And um, there was one part that I really just did not put in because it, the lighting was just washing me out. So the next time I make a get ready with me or even a make um, makeup tutorial, I am going to use a different location because of the lighting. Actually, because of the lighting and the background, I've actually been thinking about buying me one of those backdrops from eBay to drown out this <laughs> workout stuff that you guys see behind me along with some books and other things. I just don't think that's becoming in the video, but right now this is what I have, so please bear with me. So as you can see, I've you know, toned my face with my witch hazel, moisturized, and I am here to my eyebrows. And I used that L'Oreal um, brow gel that I told you all about. It's the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in the color dark to medium. I'm sorry, medium to dark. And then for my base on my eyes, I used my matte paint pot in soft ochre and yeah. So one of the palettes I'm using, well the palette that I'm using, and I'm also going to use a loose pigment for this tutorial, I'm sorry, for this get ready with me. Uh, for my transition, I used the color Buck, and I held it up to show it to you all, but because I fast forwarded for time, you could not see what color I was holding up, but it is Buck that is in my transition. And for my brow bone, I am using the color Virgin to highlight up in my brow bone area. To darken up my crease in my V area, I am using the color Dark Horse. And as you can see, I take one brush and I place that color down. And then I take another brush, which is my favorite brush for blending in colors in your crease because it helps to keep the colors I guess contained without going too far over um, but so yeah I use two different brushes one to lay the color down and one to blend the color here as you can see I was totally not prepared and I could not find what I was looking for So the color that I'm using on my lid is pink bronze. It's a loose pigment from MAC. I showed it in the last video I just uploaded. And when I was putting it on with it dry, it just was not coming out like I wanted it to. So I used a wet wipe to wet that brush. And those colors just really started to come out and shine for me. It's like with the colors you can see the pink and then you can see the bronze colors like they just mesh together. And then um, right in between my crease color and the lid color, I used Sin from the Naked palette. And then I went back and I used the Buck to um, get out any harsh lines. And so here I am using my Becca Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation in the color Tobacco. This tobacco has been the perfect color for me since it is summer and I am have tanned some. Also, I have been watching Hot Look praying that they hurry up and bring this back so I can get me some more of these. And as you can see, looking at my skin, that foundation covers, but it does it's not full coverage because you can still see um, some of my freckles and some of my mole spots. So that is fine with me, the fact that it does not cover everything. And of course, here I am using my um, Becca concealer. You all, not Becca, I'm sorry, my Kat Von D concealer. And here I put on entirely too much. I put on too much highlight, first of all, but then I put on too much powder. But I do use the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Beige Suede to set my um, set my concealer. And I really, really love that powder. And then 
when I go, um, as I go and I put my blush on and I put my uh, contour color, I went and I used a mineral powder called Ofra that I got in my BoxyCharm box and it was just overpowering. It was too much so then I had to change to one of my MAC mineral, uh, one of my MAC shimmers for a highlight. This blush is one of my faves. I got it from um, a, an, an Ipsy Glam Bag and it quickly became my next fave after Peach Twist from MAC. It's also kind of a peachy color. I think I love peachy colors for my blush. And let me let you all know this. See that dress back there on my elliptical machine? And my elliptical machine is not a hanger for clothes. I My closet is right behind it, and that's the dress that I'm putting on. So I put my dress on top of the elliptical machine before I put it on. So I just want to let y'all know that. And here I am just setting it all, setting my face and everything. And as you can see, I am back. And the dress is gone because I have the dress on. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. And um when i do i do plan on doing a makeup tutorial because i've had some requests for that purple look and some other requests for some makeup tutorials so i will be coming in with some of those and this lipstick for those of you that don't know or that may be wondering it is sin from mac it is a matte lippy and yeah thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it and until the next time and in between time i will do what catch you ladies on the flip side Bye.